Alright y'all, so I wanted to do a video. Um I know my wrestling series my wrestling portion of the channel doesn't start technically until tomorrow. But um I wanted to give a wrestling opinion um a wrestling op opinion video today. And uh, that that video is going to be about Roman Reigns and how he compares to broccoli. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You're looking at the video and saying this mother sucker is comparing a person to a vegetable, and I'll tell you why. Roman Reigns is like broccoli. Roman Reigns is like broccoli because A. The WWE, as much as I love them, have this warped idea that wrestlers have this sort of look. Big, you know, stocky. Samoan is, is almost... A given you're gonna get some kind of title push. Hell, even Rikishi in the Armageddon Hell in a Cell match got some kind of push. But the reason I feel kind of bad for Roman Reigns, yeah, another unpopular opinion. I actually like the guy. I like the guy. Do I think he needs a change? Absolutely. He needs a change. So, so here's the thing. Roman Reigns is like broccoli because, like broccoli, Roman Reigns is trying to be force-fed to us. Roman Reigns got the bad end of the stick when he came in. And he came in right on the heels of Daniel Bryan's, you know, neck, shoulder, arm surgery. And, um, they wanted to make Roman the guy. The fans did not take to it. Now, most, most parents, when we were younger... They came up with the idea. Okay, let's let's put cheese on the on the broccoli. You might like it then. The cheese on the broccoli in Roman Reigns' case was the Rock helping him win the Royal Rumble. Now, I, I, honestly, they obviously they thought that you know it was gonna catch lightning in the bottle if the Rock helped his cousin win the Royal Rumble. A few years ago. Wrong. Wrong. For the first time, it got the rock some booze, possibly. And, and I don't mean booze as in the drink. I mean booze from a crowd. It got the rock some booze when he wasn't even a heel. So, <laughs> the rock was the cheese... To Roman's broccoli. Not now. I understand. Because John Cena. If you remember. Went through the same thing. A few years back. When everybody went out. Triple H got the quad injury. Edge. Who also had some. Momentum. Went and got the neck injury. I forget who was big at that time. Um, but anyway, John Cena got thrust in, into the same situation. Am I a fan of John Cena? No, abs absolutely not. Do I respect the guy? Absolutely. Um... 
yet another unpopular opinion. I respect John Cena. I respect him. I even bought his rap album. I'm not too proud to actually I am kinda of proud not proud to say that. But John Cena was very much thrust in, into the same situation where your top stars go down all seemingly at the same time. Now WWE is put in into this situation. What can I do? What can we what can we do? Who's our most promising wrestler at the time in FCW? John Cena. John Cena. They brought up John Cena and he had that one off match against Kurt Angle and he beat him. And thus the Doctor of Thugonomics was was born and then Cena started doing his Superman thing. And then it turned into some sort of Hulk Hogan effect. But the difference between Roman and John and Broccoli is the fact that John Cena didn't have no cheese for that broccoli. They tried so hard for The Rock to be the cheese to Roman's broccoli. So finally, normally the parent would finally give up. But unfortunately, WWE is a very st stubborn parent. They will not give up trying to feed us that broccoli. Now, this would be a ripe, a ripe opportunity to do so, <coughs> but it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen because they're too stubborn. The alternative to Roman Reigns is here in Braun Strowman. He's over. The fans love him. Hell, when he comes out, people say his name in unison with his theme. And to me, <laughs> that is the most obvious thing. That's the most obvious form of being over. Look, even though... Another prime example, Shinsuke Nakamura. He's a heel right now. Johnny Cage, I like to call him. Because he likes to do the whole low blow thing. Shinsuke Nakamura is over still. People are still repeating the bars to his theme song because people like the guy whenever you hear Roman come out all you hear you'll hear a few cheers scattered around here and there but a large amount of what you hear is booze And to be honest, the guy looks frustrated. I don't know how much he can take. How much more he can take before finally he just says, screw it, and takes his ball and goes home. Although I have faith in the bloodline that him and The Rock come from because they don't quit anything. They absolutely don't. And I respect that. But, for the love of God, WWE, stop trying to feed us broccoli. 
We like corn. Corn. Corn is in the form of Braun Strowman. It's not the best vegetable for you, but it tastes a whole lot better than unseasoned broccoli. Anyway, that's what I got for you today on the on the wrestling opinion. I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy. I hope I don't get a lot of hate for this video. I'm just a very, very passionate wrestling fan. I've been watching it for years. You know, I was a WCW guy, you know, over WWF, but during the Attitude Era, everybody tuned in. Everybody tuned in. And I was no different. My friends and I, we would uh, talk about wrestling on the on the uh, on the bus on the way to school. We trade action figures. My friend would show me his latest issue of WWF the magazine, which I got, you know, f for a few years. Had to beg my dad for it. But I eventually got it. So I'm a big, big wrestling fan. Wrestling is a big, big part of my life. I enjoy it. I enjoy the the entertainment. I enjoy what these guys do. And I respect what these guys do because they are entertaining as hell. And they're risking life and limb to make sure sure that everyone enjoys the show. That being said, I hope you all enjoyed the show. And uh, please body slam that like button for me. Um, comment and subscribe. And I will see you Tuesday with the Raw Recap. The first Raw Recap of the Between the Ropes segment. So I guess you can call this a prequel. I will see you guys Tuesday with the Raw Recap. There will be a video on Monday. I'm just not sure what type of video I'm going to do yet. But there will be a video up. I promise. Body slam that like button. Comment and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content and game on and have a safe and happy Memorial Day.